Phantom Thieves have become really popular as of late, haven't they? From Kaito Kid to Loop on the Third, all the way to the new kids on the block, the Phantom Thieves from Persona 5, there's something real cool about the Robin Hood-esque heroes who lie in wait in the shadows. Well, in 2008, a series loosely based off and adapted astray from Edogawa Rampo's classic mystery series of a private detective, Kogoro Akeshi, was created to tell the story of the adopted daughter to Japan's arguably most famous Phantom Thief, The Fiend with 20 Faces. The Daughter of 20 Traces is what could have been a really cool show with a fun setup, only to fall into above average fineness in the return to form seen in the 360 runaround of the plot. That being said, the good stuff is pretty good, and dare I say, worthy of a watch? Maybe? Chizuko is an emotionless 12 year old girl taken in by her aunt and uncle after her parents died, but when it's revealed they've been trying to poison her to get her inheritance, she's taken away by the butler or rather, a man disguised as a butler, a phantom thief only known as 20 Faces. She eventually comes to know 20 Faces and his crew, staying with them for years and learning their trade, becoming close in their family with them. But when tragedy strikes, Chizuko suddenly returns to her aunt. Yeah, just her aunt. And she finds herself back in a listless state. That is, until some ray of hope shines back into her life, on the off chance that she can maybe find 20 Faces once again. I'll give them this, I honestly was expecting it to just be a story about a girl who hangs out with a band of thieves. I mean, they give them some backstory, personality, and even names. They really had me. So when it abruptly ends, it was really surprising they had the gall to completely negate that. Does that make the rest good? Well, sort of. When Shizuka's back to her old life, I like it's not just her old life. She's more attentive, athletic, and skilled so she can thwart her aunt's assassination attempts. There's also a cool mystery behind Chizuko's re-entry of society. After all, she's known as the daughter of 20 faces, so there are people after her too who think she knows where 20 faces hid his valuables. There's also the plotline that is Kogoro Akechi that pulls her back into reality, acknowledging that the rivalry between him and 20 faces will continue with Chizuko as long as she refuses to give up too. That's kind of neat. The big downside to this is that it can get stale at times, especially at the point where you can just predict where it's going, which, to be fair, isn't too often. It's just the slice of life parts. I'm also not too keen on the music or the animation. It's fine for what it is, but it's not anything noteworthy. I will give them props that they at least stay thematic and keep the animation consistently in the same style. It's not those cutesy animation games you often see in slice of life and such. It keeps the tone more down to earth and real while also being lighthearted. To be frank, it's likely you haven't seen it mostly due to how average it is. I wouldn't say it's because it's set in an established universe, because I had no idea what this world was like and I got into it just fine. It's just that the points that are good are just that. Good. Chizuko's a fun character whose growth you're really rooting for. The supporting characters like the maid and the best friend are really likeable, while the villains like the aunt and the crazy puppet lady are far more interesting than you think. The mystery and the story have some decent turns, but equally have their frustrating moments too. There's just this underlying feeling of mediocrity that lies in the tonal quality of the bigger parts of the whole. Like I said, the animation and the music aren't too great, and the slice of life parts do drag a bit for how little there are. The action scenes, I really want to get into, but I just can't on the grounds that it's just tonally jaded and or awkwardly paced. It's an actual rollercoaster of low highs and steep lows, which I don't know how it's possible, but it is. It's especially annoying when there are these great ideas coming out of it, like with Chizuko evolving into this kind of kick-ass fighter, or the stuff with Kogoro Akeshi trying to be a Sherlock to a new Moriarty. But when they do pull them off, they're really effective in progressing the story with profound thoughts or natural character growth. If you're looking for a Phantom Thief fix, it's not a bad choice. I do like the characters, the story can be interesting, and it does end on a fairly good conclusion in the epilogue, wrapping it up in probably the best paced slice of life episode of a show. But don't go in expecting this is a grand scheme of a heist. It's more about a girl's growth after living with a Phantom Thief, and if that interests you, good. But for me, I think one escapade was enough.